Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. How do you like my new hair? I feel like a completely different person. <laughs> if you are a longtime follower, you know that I used to work as a commercial fashion designer. And when I took my design education, I learned the basic skills of sewing. So I've always loved to sew. I have altered my own wardrobe for as long as I can remember. So if there's a pair of pants, for example, that are too long or they fit a bit too big around the hips or whatever it might be, I like to take the matter into my own hands and make them fit exactly as I want them to, um, just to make sure that I get all the wear out of them that I want to. And that is, of course, key when you're building a lasting wardrobe and a wardrobe that you want to be able to wear over and over again. It's really important that you actually want to wear the items that you have and that they fit the way that you want. So I've made many videos in the past talking about this. So in today's video, I thought I wanted to gather up some of these tips and then hopefully it will inspire you guys to get crafty too. So today's video is another partnership and advertisement for Skillshare, which is like I've mentioned before, this amazing online community where you can learn basically any skill you want. So because today's video is going to be all about altering your own wardrobe, I wanted to highlight some of the very basic sewing classes that you can find on Skillshare just to give you an idea of what you can actually learn in there. So if you've always dreamt of learning to sew but you've never really had the chance then hopefully today's video will inspire you to get started. So I will link all of these classes down below so you can go have a look at them after watching this video but the very first video I would advise you to start with is of course a sewing machine crash course. So really getting to know the basics of working with a sewing machine, how to thread a needle, how to change a needle, how to make basic stitches, all of that. Um, and there is a video called a sewing machine crash course, which I think again would be a perfect place to start. There's also a class called Sewing 101, the very basics of sewing, which I think would be a good class to move on with from there, just so you can actually get started sewing. Maybe you have a project you want to start, working on or you have some clothing that you want to start altering. So the way Skillshare works is that you simply sign up for a membership for less than $10 a month on an annual subscription and then you'll have access to all of these different classes. The first thousand people to use the link in my description bar down below will get a free trial on Skillshare Premium Membership. So after watching this video, do make sure you check out the description box down below. All the details you need to know are down there. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Here are my six favorite ways to alter my own wardrobe. The very first thing I want to mention is super basic, but if you are not that tall like me, this is a problem that occurs pretty often to you as well. Um, so it is when you buy jeans or pants, they are often too long, especially if you buy from a brand that don't have inseam lengths in their jeans or pants. So it doesn't only have to be jeans or pants, it can be skirts or dresses as well. Anything that has a hemline that is too long and that you want to take off a couple of inches um, to make it fit your height and your body better. When it comes to jeans and pants, I like that they cut just above the ankle and it's kind of like a lottery for me when I buy jeans and pants because they hardly ever fit that way. So it's become kind of like a, a thing that I always do whenever I buy jeans or pants. I just take off a couple of inches and then they fit me perfectly. So speaking of taking off hemlines, Something else you could look into is learning the basics of sewing a blind stitch or a blind hemline. When it comes to dressier pants like tailored pants for example, these are often made with a blind stitch at the hemline because it looks more neat and I guess it makes more sense um, in terms of the kind of fabric that you use to these kind of pants and it also looks a bit more luxurious I guess. So in case you have a pair of dress pants or dress or pencil skirt, something like that, laying around that you don't really use because they are too long and you would like it to fit a bit shorter than Learning the basics of making a blind stitch is definitely something you could look into. And it's actually something you can learn in the sewing machine crash course that I mentioned before. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can easily do this by hand as well. There are many videos here on YouTube where you can learn to do a blind stitch as well. And basically a blind stitch is exactly what the name 
refers to, so it's a stitch you can't really see. Another thing you could try is taking bottoms in. Now, I've often done this if I've bought vintage Levi's jeans, for example, um, to make them fit my legs exactly like I want. So it's actually pretty simple if you know the very basics of sewing. So in case this is something you'd like to have a closer look at, then I'll link some of my previous videos down below because I have done this a couple of times in the past where I show you how I do it. So I'm a huge fan of those old school jeans, especially from Levi's, as many of you guys know if you've been a long time follower. But sometimes the fit is a little bit outdated, so this is a nice way of giving old clothes new life. I have always loved to play around with old clothes that I either have laying around already in one of my storage boxes, or if I go thrift shopping, I always kind of have an open mind. Um, if I try on something and I really like the pattern or the fabric or something similar like that, but I just don't really like the fit. So turning a piece of clothing like that into something completely else or maybe just altering the fit a bit is something I've always enjoyed doing. I, for example, bought a lovely leopard, like a vintage leopard dress in London a couple of years ago. And when I came home, I turned it into a two piece instead of a dress so that I was actually able to wear um, the top part like a shirt with other bottoms from my wardrobe and then the bottom part as a skirt with other tops from my wardrobe. So just to get more wear out of this piece of clothing and yeah, just turn it into something completely else. So if you're decluttering your wardrobe, for example, keep an open mind, maybe think about if there's something that you could alter a bit so that you'll be able to wear it again or turn it into something else or um, if you're going thrift shopping, if you find an item you really like but you just want to make these small alterations to it or turn it into something completely else, um, that's definitely something you can do as well and something you could learn to do by learning these basic sewing skills. Last but not least, there's always the option of buying a finished pattern and then start completely from scratch. So buy some fabric or if you go again to a thrift store and you find an old curtain or some old fabric that you really like, you can make a piece of clothing that you design yourself or that you make from scratch with a pattern, which is actually quite easy if you no basic sewing skills. You could also redraw a pattern from a piece of clothing you already have in your wardrobe. So if you have, say, a dress or a top that you really like, you can actually redraw the pattern based upon that piece of clothing and then make another one um, in another kind of fabric, in another color. Just if you really like this fit and you'd like to have another option based upon this fit in your wardrobe. It of course requires some more technical skills, but take it from me, I only had six months of like um, sewing classes when I took my design education, so I'm no professional at all. I just held on to it because I've always really liked it. So of course I've practiced over the years, um, but redrawing patterns like this is actually quite simple if you know basic sewing skills. Um, otherwise, again, you could of course always buy a finished pattern if that is something you feel more safe doing. So if you don't have the budget to drop off your clothes at a professional seamstress or if you just like to get crafty, I really hope this video inspired you to actually get started. Thank you so much to Skillshare for working with me once again. It's always a pleasure and thanks to you guys for all of your support and for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave for more similar sustainable fashion related kind of videos. Take care everyone and I will see you hopefully very soon for another video. Bye guys!